Hey guys, Stark Star Jordan here today, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do another video. I did my introduction video a little bit earlier, and this is going to be a secondary video. Um, this is going to be an everyday carry video. This is going to be about items that I carry on me every day from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. Um, so as some people who are friends that are watching this or family members or even people who are just starting to get to know me through YouTube or different forums and stuff like that, I carry a gun every single day. Um, and that is my personal choice. You may choose not to. That's completely fine. Um, but ever since I turned 21, I've open carried until about a couple months ago when I got my concealed carry permit. I've kind of carried everything out there. I've carried you know, 1911, I've carried full-size Glocks, I've carried full-size M&Ps, compact M&Ps, compact Springfields, full-size Springfields, um, 38 revolver, pretty much everything underneath the sun. Um, I When it came down to choosing my carry gun, the easiest one for me to choose was my MMP Compact 40 caliber. Um, 40 is a round that I have always trusted, uh, and it's the one that I feel comfortable with. The MMP Compact has the best feel out of any gun I've ever shot, um, and it's the gun that I feel the most comfortable with. That's why I chose to carry it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and safety check it for you guys. There's a full magazine, but there's not one in the chamber. It's completely empty. Um, so the other thing with this is I've kind of got girly hands for being a guy. And for me, I need something that's going to be comfortable in the hand, uh, which is part of the reason I love this gun. It's got the interchangeable back straps on there. Uh, it's not an overly thick gun or anything like that so it fits my hands perfectly um that was the biggest selling point on this gun is it fits my hands perfectly plus it still gives me a full size mag not just a seven round magazine uh and that's something that i don't personally like but some people do i prefer to have a full full size magazine of at least you know 10 rounds if not more um so that's my personal carry gun. Um, I carry it just for that reason. I'll be going over why, why I chose this gun more in depth in a separate video, but this is the gun I do carry. Um, next thing on items that I carry is I carry a extra magazine with me every day. I carry a full size 15 round magazine with the X grip on it. Um, just in case I'm ever in a situation where the first magazine doesn't do me good, uh, I've always got a backup just with extra bullets in it. Um, and in case I can't get to my car where I have extra magazines or I can't get to my get home safe bag that has extra magazines in it, I personally prefer to carry one on me. Uh, it either is in my back pocket when I'm in jeans or it's in one of my cargo pockets when I'm in cargo shorts. Uh, other than that, Love this gun, uh, love the gun, love having an extra magazine just in case. Next thing on my list is something that pretty much everybody in America carries nowadays, and that is a cell phone. Uh, I carry an LG G Pro. It's got a five and a half inch screen on it. I'm on my phone constantly texting, emailing, watching videos on YouTube, Facebook, just different things like that to pass time sometimes, or doing business on the phone, everything like that. It feels good in my hand. Uh, it makes it easy for me to read. It doesn't hurt my eyes. I don't have to squint to read some of the little text. It's big enough to where it makes it easy for me. Uh, that's why I prefer it. It's a loud speaker, loud phone, battery is excellent on it. Um, and on the phone, I keep it in a casemate case. It's a rubber case on the outside, and then it's a hard plastic case uh, to protect it and make it work easy. Uh, and protect the back of it. It doesn't protect the front of the phone, which is unfortunate, but I have insurance on that just in case that were to ever break. So that's my cell phone. Next, I carry a pocket knife every day. This isn't a knife that I plan on using for self-defense, but if I ever had to, I would. Uh, this particular knife is a Buck 870. 
I carry this with me every day. I've kind of switched off between this and a couple other knives for about two years now. Um, this one works excellent for cutting open boxes, cutting zip ties and different straps and things like that. Um, but other than that, I personally wouldn't use it as a personal defense knife unless I had to. Uh, but with that being said, it's been a trustworthy knife. If I had to use it, I would. Um, next, I carry a pen and a Sharpie with me. I have to write myself notes. I forget things really easily, so I either keep them in my phone or I write myself physical notes. Uh, and then I use the Sharpie because I have to mark boxes at work or mark different things all the time. And what better way to do that than Sharpie? Uh, so that's personally why I carry those two with me. It's pretty basic. A lot of people will carry that stuff. Uh, next, they're going to be keys. My keys, I have quite a few of them. Uh, right now, I have a rental car because my car blew itself up this weekend, so I'm waiting on getting that back. Uh, I have a valet key for my car in case I ever take it somewhere where it has a valet. They've got that copy of the key and then I've got a copy of the key on me just in case. I've got house keys, I've got shop keys, I've got toolbox keys, I've got a gun lock key on there, uh, and I have another shop key on there. Pretty basic stuff um, that most people would carry. Uh, the only thing that's going to change on this key ring for a while is going to be a uh, my car key. I'm going to get my BMW back in the next couple days and then that Nissan will be going away. Thank God. But I say thank you to my work for giving me a rental while it's broken. Next, I carry a lighter every day. I'm a smoker. Uh, obviously need a lighter to light my cigarettes, which is a bad habit. I'm trying to quit. But I also keep it just in case I never ever need to start a fire on the side. Uh, so that's why I personally carry a lighter. But I also have matches and stuff in my get home safe bag in case I ever needed to use them. Uh, and the last thing that is going to be on this video is just going to be my bifold wallet. I carry my concealed carry permit, my driver's license, uh, credit cards. I keep normally around $100 cash in my wallet just in case something happens where my debit card's not working or something like that. I have cash just in case I need it. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I really carry on me personally every day. I, like I mentioned before, I do have a get home safe bag, but we'll go over that in another video. But these are the items that I carry with me every day. Uh, like I said, some of them I'm going to use every day, such as the pen, the sharpie, the knife, the keys, the lighter, the phone, the wallet I use a good portion of the time because I'm always buying something. Pretty much the only thing that I don't have to use on a daily basis is my gun and my uh, extra magazine but they're there in case I ever do need them. Other than that I don't really carry too much else on me and normally I do have a flashlight I somehow magically lost that this morning gonna be ordering a new one today uh, other than that that's what I've kind of got with my everyday carry. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe and feel free to leave comments uh, other than that, next video should be up fairly soon. Thanks again, guys. Have yourself a good day.